Hey, everybody. Welcome to our show today. So glad you could join us. Hope you're painting with us. If you are, we're doing something totally different today, something that we've never done on TV. But we've occasionally, once in a while over the years, we like to change and do something a little bit different. So come over to the board and we'll show you what we've been working on and we'll work a little more on it today. This is a little modern painting of a little dancing girl, but it's going to be real modern so it won't, won't look like the stuff that we normally do on the show. But I hope you enjoy it. And uh, Let me get a little thinner there. I hope you enjoy it. And if you do, well, let us know. We'd be glad to do a lot more of these. These are a lot of fun, by the way. They're not, not difficult to do. Okay, I'm going to put a little... white right in this area. I'm trying to do little uh, little circles. Hope you can see those. Sort of like our little skirt. And the way I'm doing that, I'm just taking a full brush, a little small brush, by the way, because we're doing a small painting, and I'm just turning it. In other words, I'm just laying it down and turning it. I need to do one more here. Now I'm going to highlight her face a little bit. So I'm going to take some white and go over into that flesh color that we created. And I'm going to take some darker color and go right under her hat. Or higher. I guess that's her higher. I'm, I'm not sure what that is. Whatever you want it to be. Now I'm going to go back and add a little red to that. And I want to add just a touch of red up here to her uh, little hand. This is our little dancing girl. Now I do want to add a little shadow right under here because I want to separate that a little bit more. Back to realism a little bit. Now I want to add a little darker brown. Let me go over. This is straight Van Dyke brown. 
right in here. Then a little bit of this color. Okay, now what I'm going to do, I'm going to uh, lay my palette down, and the reason I'm doing that, most all of this so far is uh, what I call palette painting or one-handed painting. If I can lay that right there so it won't fall, I'm going to get out my mall stick. I'm going to pick up a real small little brush. That might be a little too small. Let me grab another one here that I like. I'm going to rinse it out really good. Now, first of all, I'm going to get a little thinner in. I want some really good white. So I'm going down here and get this brand new white that I haven't used. And I'm mixing it. A little thin. I'm hoping it's going to cover. If it don't, we'll do this over and over. Now, I'm going to lay that right on the edge. And if you notice, I've got a place to lay my hand instead of laying it on, on the painting. I don't believe that's going to cover that way. I'm going to have to get it a little thicker. Can't hardly see that, but maybe that's enough to get an idea. Now I'm going to go into my red. This is just straight red. Actually, cadmium red. Now, I'm trying to uh, make her look happy. For the top lip, it's usually darker than the bottom. So I'm going to pick up a little of the, my alizarin crimson and see if I can coat the top lip just a little bit. I'm going to get a little, pick up a little blue. Too much, way too much. Gosh, that stuff, I tell you, it's taking over, isn't it? That's probably way too much, but let me just take a line right here.
a little bit more. That's close. I'm rinsing my brush out real, really good because I want to pick up a little of this color here. This is just for highlight. Like so. Okay, now, now normally it's better to wait and let it dry somewhat before you do any major outlining. However, We don't want to wait right now, so we're going to outline part of it anyhow. In order to do that, I'm taking some uh, Payne's Gray. It'll, it'll look black, and I'm trying to thin it really thin. And let's just see if we can do a, a little bit of outline. A little bit more. By the way, what I'm doing this with is a what you call a liner brush. It's got about an inch long hairs in it and very, very delicate and very thin. Now I'm going to try this one little eyeball here. I don't know if I can do it or not with it being as wet as it is. Let's just try it. That don't look too bad. Okay, we've done so well with that one. Let's do the other one. By the way, now I'm taking my brush. And just rolling it in this. And I've got it real thin. And I'm just using the tip of it. I'm going to get just a little bit more thinner. Oh, yeah, that really got it. A lot of black in there. Let me see if I can get that in the other one. We're getting there, aren't we?
Now I'm just pulling a few little lines in that. Uh, Hire or hat, whichever one you want it to be, I guess. I actually went in there and picked up some of the uh, original color that I shadowed with, this color right here, to make these little uh, holes in this one. Now I need to make our eyebrows. Let's see if we can go back into our Payne's Gray. And you can use black if, if, if you prefer. I just like this because it gives you a dark enough color. I just learned to use it a long, long time ago. It's not getting very black. Let me see if I can get a little bit more color in it. Well, I can't get it very black. Let me try one more time. Now this is where sometimes it's really tedious because You want to lay your brush back down in the same line. And thank goodness I can still do that. But I'm not getting enough color on it. Let me try again. Now, I may wait till it dries and put her little... Uh, Now, actually, I just went in and made it a little darker right in that area to give it a little more contrast. Now, I'm going to blend that a little bit, but I'm just putting a few little lines in there. Let me rinse that brush out really good. That's a great, great brush, by the way. I'm going to take this brush, blend just a little bit right in here. Then I'm going to come back. I want that a little, little more separated right in that area. Let's see if I can do it with white. Pretty good. I'm just pulling that out a little bit, and if you notice, I've got a real beautiful separation there now. Yeah, 
and anywhere you need to go back and touch up, I see some spots that actually needs it. I go back and touch them up like that. And you can do it with a smaller brush if you want to. Just trying to clean up my edges here a little bit because highlight her little shoes a little bit more. Got a little higher sticking out of that brush. Let me see if I... Yeah, there you go. Got it. Now there's a spot right there that I want to touch up, but I... I don't want to use too much of this light color. Yeah, right in there. I want to blend that a little bit. So let me take a smaller brush. Like this size, yeah. Now I may go back and get a little dark color to put under here because I like I like that shadow. But I may not need it if I pull that down like that. And I don't really. I want a little bit right in that area. See if I can pick up a little of this. I'm just blending that in. Okay, now if you notice, I've just added some ruffles in there to make it look a little bit, a little bit more perspective to it, I guess you'd say. Now, I, I want to separate that hand just a little bit up here at the top. Let's see if I can get a color there to do that. I'll tell you what let's do. Let's turn her upside down. Same thing over here. I want to separate that a little bit. Now I'm going to blend those just a little. I think it looks a little better that way. And I want a little more red in there. Got a few minutes left here.
I'm blending it out a little bit. Now, let's look at that face and see if we need a little more red in it. Wouldn't hurt. Oops, didn't mean to get that much in there. Let me wipe that off. Let me see if I can blend that just a little. I love that red in there. Yeah. I want to, if I got time, let me grab my other little brush. But I want to do a few little highlights right in her hair there. Yeah, that's what I want. Okay, you know what? I'm, I'm about done with this. But I want to do one more thing. There you go. <laughs> Beautiful. Okay. You know what? We're going to call that a finished painting. I hope you've enjoyed this series. And after it dries, we'll come back and wash all of our chalk off. Anyhow, that's a little modern painting. I hope you've enjoyed it. And come back and be with us next week. And we may do one to match it. A little, little boy or something. Anyhow, appreciate you so very, very much. Goodbye and God bless.